Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Adeline is asleep right here, and of course, the second that I start talking, I know she's gonna wake up, so sorry if there's any interruptions in this video. But today, I'm doing a Vegas haul for basically the outfits that I've purchased for Vegas. Um, there's some accessory items, some shoes, and just the clothes that I bought for this upcoming Vegas trip. And I am going to Vegas with Tara Henderson, Brianna Kay, Tiffany Beeston, Liza Adele, and Chris of Omen Ruth. So there's six of us going and I'm going to have links to their channels below so make sure you're subscribed to all of us and your bell notification is on so you all will be the first to know when our Vegas vlogs go live because we are going to be filming in Vegas. I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the outfits that I purchased for this Vegas trip. So on Thursday, I do have a travel outfit written down on my like plan of outfits that I need to pack and I'm just going to wear stuff that I've already purchased um, in the past for my travel days just because I've already bought a lot of items for this trip and I didn't want to go completely overboard and I know that a lot of you guys are going to think that I did already go overboard and that's okay. Um, everybody has their opinion. but. For my travel outfit, I'm going to be wearing a pair of freshly picked jeans that I purchased a few months ago and this top from the Pink Door Boutique that has like this strap across my neck. And you guys, it's a gray top and you guys have seen that. Everybody loves that top. So I'm going to wear um, a pair of flats that day though that I did purchase from... Did I say freshly picked when I was talking about my uh, jeans? I meant to say free people. And the flats that I'm going to be wearing that day, I did purchase for this trip and those are free people and I'm going to pull them out now. I do want to say that for every item that I can find a link for, I'll link it for you guys below if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. These are the flats from Free People. I haven't worn them yet just because when I buy things for a trip, I usually like to save them until I go on the trip because it's so exciting like wearing your new items on the trip. I don't know. There's just something about it when you don't wear them before the trip. The only thing I've worn is a pair of flats. I wore them yesterday after I bought them because I loved them so much. They're like platform sandals actually. And I'll show those to you, and you'll, and, but I wore them last night and I'm obsessed. Okay, so this is the Free People sandal. Put it in front of my face so it focuses. It's like, um, it's got like the leather cuff over your ankle for the back and I like that it ties right here on the side. I think that it's really cute. And then it just has a strap over your toe. So I thought that these would be um, really like comfortable for walking. I also thought, um, like they, I thought they would be comfortable for the um, for traveling, but I also thought that if my wedges get annoying in Vegas, that I can wear these during the daytime um, just for something cute, but also comfortable. Because I know that there's a lot of walking in Vegas, although we have decided that we're in like a cab packed, which means we're going to be taking cabs everywhere to avoid walking too much because I, this is my fourth Vegas trip and I know that the walking gets to be really excessive and it can really hurt your feet. So we're going to try and take cabs everywhere we go, even if it's like seems to be close. A hotel can seem, and someone tweeted me this the other day, but it's so true. A hotel can seem like it's just like right across the street, but then it'll take you 15 to 20 minutes to walk there. And by the time you get there, your feet are just killing you. So I am packing these comfortable flats. So on Thursday night, we're going to be going to out to dinner and to a club and um, everything has been booked through one of my friends, James. And I'm so excited because he kind of, James and my manager, Layla, they both kind of planned out some things for us to do and really like helped us out so much with our itinerary and we're so thankful for them but james planned out like our club and dinner nights except for one night layla planned out a dinner for us to all attend so we're super looking forward to both of those things but for the club this dress i purchased like actually it's free people but i purchased it a year ago along with the bodysuit that goes with it and i haven't had a chance to wear it yet so I'm including this in my like things purchased for Vegas, even though I purchased it not knowing when I would wear it. Some of y'all will remember when I posted a picture of it on my Instagram, I was pregnant when I bought this dress. It is so cute and I'm gonna pull it out now. We decided we're not doing a try on haul just because you guys will see the outfits on us while we're in Vegas. And um, you know, that's why, we're, that's why we decided not to do try on hauls. But this is the dress. It's like white and black lace. And it is totally see-through, so I have a bodysuit that I'll show you. But the front, it's kind of like high, not high-low, because like over the thighs, though, it comes up shorter. So it's like jagged. It's not like one length on the bottom. But the lace is beautiful. The whole back is see-through. Um, the front, um, the back does have like a little um, kind of like a, 
I don't know, it's not a keyhole, maybe it is considered a keyhole, I don't know. But the buttons are really nice because they're kind of like a shell. Uh, um, I think they're made out of shell. So the front though has like a little lace keyhole, peephole, whatever you want to call it, I don't really know. Um, and I think it's called fingerling lace. So that is the dress, and then this is the bodysuit that goes with it. This is also from Free People. Um, and it's just to go underneath it, since this is see-through, um, this is actually perfect. And I wanted to find some really fun black, like big black statement earrings or some big black chunky bracelets. And I went yesterday shopping and I couldn't find anything that I was like really in love with. So I haven't decided jewelry for this yet. However, oh, if you guys have any ideas, list them below or like send me a DM or something because I'm still looking for black jewelry. But for the shoes, I got some really cute lace, um, these lace pumps that are like, uh, pointed toe and they've got a really cute bow on the ankle the day that I was at Macy's when I bought these shoes They had like it was either buy one get one half off or buy one get one it, They had a major sale the day I was there So I ended up getting both of these pairs of shoes for a total of a hundred dollars I think it ended up being like 99 so it was under a hundred dollars for both of these pairs of shoes I'm about to show you their INC which is I think it's a really affordable brand from Macy's um, They might sell them at Dillard's too or maybe this was Dillard's. No, I think it was Macy's, but I think it's a really affordable, cute brand. Um, and I have a lot of their stuff. Like, I like their accessories a lot, too. That's the bow that goes around the ankle. It's like a circle. Um, it's just straps around your ankle like this, and it's Velcro. It's a Velcro strap. Um, and they're lace, and they are comfortable. If you're wondering, this is, like, super soft in there. But we all have packed. Like, I bought the Foot Glide blister-free stuff that has really good reviews on Amazon, and I bought tons of blister band-aids because I know that even though our shoes may be comfortable and the heel's not extreme, it's still pretty tall though. Even though, you know, they may seem comfortable, I know Vegas is going to be a rude awakening, but that's what cocktails and band-aids are for. Friday, we have all these plans and I don't even know. Krista, when you watch Krista's video, she'll probably like be telling you guys the itinerary because I don't exactly know the full itinerary, but Krista has written up the itinerary and compiled all the things that we wanted to do. So for my Friday daytime outfit, I decided on, let me pull it. I've got like three different options, but I'll show you one of my first options. This is really fun. I'm enjoying showing you guys these outfits. I love this because um, I haven't gone on a girl's trip since I've had babies, I don't think. And so this has been just so fun to shop for. We've all been in, in our group text just like sharing pictures and getting ideas from each other and it's been amazing. Like it's just been like the planning is just as much fun or maybe even more fun than going. So I found this in at Von Mar when I lived in Georgia. And I want to say it was in the junior section. But it's a romper and it ties in the front like this. And I totally get like a little bit of throwback pinup vibes from this it is just adorable it's um shorts like obviously i just said it's a romper but the straps cross in the back like this and it's so simple um it's a really comfortable fabric and let me look at the brand lush is the brand from von mar and so um i have i bought two necklaces from bobble bar i don't know i might wear one of them i'll show you guys those in a minute but I'm gonna wear jewelry that I already have because I have tons of jewelry. If you guys know me, you know I'm the jewelry queen. My favorite place to get jewelry is from Roxbox. I have been signed up with them now for what, two years? And that's where I get the majority of my jewelry. So these are the other shoes that I got during that sale. They're wedges and they look so cute with this romper. They are um, American, you know I've never used this, purchased this brand before. American Rag. I guess, American Rag, I don't know. But they've got the cork wedge, and I like the strap. I like the nude strap or tan, it's more of like a tan strap. And I feel like they will go with so much. Um, and I'm a size eight in these, not that, I don't know why you guys would care, but that is um, daytime outfit number one. So pool outfit number one. So I brought so many different cover up options, so hopefully you guys can help me decide in the comments like what you think would be best. Um, for my cover-up option. So this is, I got this also at Von Mar. I was shopping with Crystal. She was with me. All this stuff that you see from Von Mar, Crystal was with me when I got. Um, and this is a Becca swimsuit. Becca is probably my favorite swimsuit designer. Um, I think that they are the most flattering swimsuits that you can buy. 
and so I tend to just go towards those. Um, I wear one pieces now only because after having two babies, my belly button is really um, got really stretched out. So now that I've lost the weight, when it's shrunk back down, it's like really wrinkly and like saggy, and I just feel self-conscious about it. So I'm not gonna be wearing any two pieces anymore unless my skin changes. And some of the girls said that it could it could tighten back up, but I don't really care. So I'm just gonna be in one pieces uh, during this trip and probably for the rest of my life. But this is the black Becca one, and I'm gonna put it in front of my face so hopefully it'll focus so you can see the details of this. Um, it's really got a low back and it ties across the back as well if you can see that so this I think is my favorite cover-up option is this is from Francesca's and I found this yesterday the girls were telling me to get a really cute um, kimono to go over it for the pool because that's what Brie was in Vegas this past weekend and she was saying that um, her that she loved having a kimono over her bathing suit so this is Miami, size medium from Francesca's, and it's just a black lace kimono. I thought it was so pretty. I loved the fingerling lace. I I'm, I'm hope I'm saying that right, but the lace that kind of just like frays at the end like that. I thought it was so beautiful, and I thought that this would just look so nice with this bathing suit. These shoes, this, these are Steve Madden, um, and when I bought these shoes, they're the Kimmies, I think. And when I bought these shoes, um, the girl at Steve Madden was telling me that these are the most, one of their most popular selling shoes right now, and that they cannot keep them in stock. So when they had them in my size, I was just so excited. But I think these are going to look so cute with this black pool look. Also packing two other cover-up options just in case I need like something more than just a kimono like if we decide to go in and grab some food quick or you know how it is if you want to go in inside you don't necessarily want to be wearing a kimono. So the one that I bought the most recent um, is this billabong and this is a size medium and I think it's just meant to be a dress but I it's very see-through and I thought that it would look really good over this swimsuit and it does um, but I I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. I liked it on, but it didn't have like a wow factor or anything, and so I didn't go nuts over it. Then this I ordered a while back from Nordstrom Rack. The I haven't got to wear it yet. The designer is Angie, and it's a wrap dress, and it's really cute because it's got like the open shoulder with the sleeve, but then it wraps, and um, it's really cute. I feel like I like the print a lot, and it would go over. I mean, it is navy, though. It's navy. Maybe I should leave this home. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. We have um, a total of three like club nights and I have two more club outfits. One night we're all gonna be in black. Um, we decided to do like, I don't know why, it's not like we're a bridal party or anything, but we decided it would be fun to all do all be in black. And at first it was all black lace and then it turned into everyone in just black. It didn't have to be black lace. So I'm gonna grab my dress for that. It's a size small from guess and it still seems to be a little big so the guest sizes might be kind of off but um i don't really like guests anymore i used to love shopping at guests but we were crystal and i were walking by when we were when i was in georgia on um, my last day there with her and i saw this dress and i thought that it looked so nice for vegas um and i i so i picked it up so it's black lace it's low cut in the front like this i'm gonna put it in front of my face so my camera will focus on that And it has the little, like, I don't know what you would call this, the little sleeves that just kind of goes like, over like that. And then it's got like this part over the waist area. I like that, that little see-through section over the waist area. And then the bottom is just lace. And it's really tight and really stretchy and like soft. It's an extremely comfortable dress. Um, I haven't decided jewelry for this yet just because it's lace and I don't really know what jewelry I would want to pair with lace. Um, I have like these bubble bar necklaces. You guys can let me know if you think that one of those would look good. Um, but the shoes are going to be those lace um, pointed toe shoes that I showed you guys for my club outfit number one. Hopefully they're comfortable. And oh, I haven't even showed you guys bags for this type of stuff. So I'll show you bags at the end. I'm bringing three different bags. Then, okay, so in, uh, my next daytime casual outfit is this. All right, I saw this top 
on Instagram. There was a girl wearing it. Um, the designer is Buddy Love, and she actually, she linked it on her Like to Know It um, profile, and she linked it through Amazon, and I was just like, yes, I loved that, because I got free two-day shipping. Um, so I'll try to find the link for it if you guys like it. But it's called a Pink Lemonade Top, and it has these little buttons, like these silver um, buttons like that. The button, and there's three of those in the front, and then it ties in a big bow um, at the bottom. You can see the tie right there. So this part will tie, and it's kind of like a midriff, but it, it covers the belly button and the like center part of your belly. So you get like a little bit of skin on the sides, but if, you, if you're like me and you have like a, like either a little pouch right there or like a saggy belly button, it still hides it so you can still go with that midriff trend without really showing too much. And the sleeves are big like this, and they're so cute. This top is just adorable, and she had it paired um, with and that button comes undone easily so I'm not sure I've got something substantial up there but um, she paired it with some dark denim jeans and a pair of wedges and so I'm gonna pair it with um, either I've decided I have these two choices this is articles of society um, denim shorts like this um, I like the dark wash idea but my dark wash jeans are hot lister and I felt like it looked it looked kind of stupid paired. So I have this option. You guys can let me know what you think. And this option, um, I haven't worn them. They're Hollister, but you can't, they're not like obviously Hollister because this isn't white stitching. You know, like the denim Hollister ones are obviously Hollister and I didn't want to be like, you know, you know what I mean. And th those would go with the wedges that I had showed you guys earlier, these right here. Or um, if I'm feeling like that's too uncomfortable, I can use those free people flats. Um, as far as jewelry, I'm um, just gonna wear jewelry that I already have, but I did buy a pair of sunglasses. So these sunglasses were in the BP section um, of Nordstrom, and so they were, I don't remember, there's a sticker over it, but they were cheap, oh, they were $14. Um, but they're white frames with some rose gold, like hardware, if you can see. Um, these were really cute, and I'm gonna bring my Prada ones as well, but I thought that these would be really fun, and cute with that outfit in particular but also just during the daytime and when you look through the lens it's like a rose gold lens so everything looks rose gold and I just love these sunglasses the last outfit that I um, need to pack is a well the last outfit that I'm going to show you guys is a club outfit for um, probably the final night this is from free people I found this when we were in Colorado and my mom was looking for a dress for our family photos I found this um, I picked a size medium because I like the way that it drapes. This is not a form-fitting dress whatsoever, so it kind of like hangs down like a sack, but it's extremely flattering. Um, and I just love the beading. There are sequins and beads on this. And um, I'm trying to try, try to show you the whole pattern. But it's this light pink, and it's a super light fabric, and I just thought it was so pretty. Um, I just love the detailing of this dress. So this is how the straps are in the front and then the back looks like this. And then I have a pair of really strappy Gianni Bini, Gianni Bini or Gianni Bini, I'm not sure. Um, flat, uh, heels that are just like a super simple thin silver strap that I'm going to wear and I have to find those like I need to find those immediately because I don't know where they are. They're in one of my like mini boxes of shoes and I'm going to get those out. I didn't want to buy a new pair of shoes because I felt like the ones that I already had would be perfect for it. So I didn't go out and buy new shoes. Then with that, I'm going to wear one of my bobble bar necklaces that I'm about to show you. So I ordered them online. So they're, they came in like this type of packaging and I already like took them out, tried them on and put them back in this packaging. So I'm going to do it again. These necklaces are so trendy and so cute. When I got them in, I was just even, they were even cuter in um, like when I finally got them in person than they were um, on the website. But this is the silver one. Um, I just think it's so pretty and it's so shiny and sparkly. This one has two um, dangling, on, dangling things on it. When you guys see the gold one, it's different because there's only one that hangs down as opposed to two and it has like a little bit different of a shape with the metal and as you can see this is, can be a really long necklace or a short um, a shorter necklace but this is what I'm gonna wear 
with that pink dress that I just showed you. So here's the gold one. As you can see, it only has one thing that dangles down and it doesn't have a bar at the end like the other one. And then it has the top one it has like a triangle shape as well as the circles. I love them. I'm so excited about them. And while I was at Francesca's, I just picked up a couple pairs of studs that I thought would go with anything. Um, just easy to throw on some studs, you know? And so these are the studs that I picked up. One is gold hardware and one is silver. Gold metal, gold hardware. And I don't know how I just missed a, a secondary pool um, outfit, but I don't know how I missed this because this is actually my favorite outfit of the whole trip is my second pool outfit. I'll also show you the third bathing suit option if I do end up bringing a third bathing suit. I'll, um, I'll show you guys that as well. I might as well just throw it in my bag because I bought it for this trip and then I ended up not wanting to bring it for some reason so i'll show you that too but first let me show you my favorite outfit of this whole trip it's everything but water the bathing suit is my favorite swimsuit designer becca and it's a lace um looking one piece like this it goes up over your neck and then it ties in the back like this it's kind of hard to see i hear skyla saying mama but it ties in the center like that. It's got a low back, it's got this lace, and then I love um, on the corners like this, how it has this like little detailing. I think it's so pretty. And then this is the um, cover up I'm gonna be wearing. It's Love Stitch, and it's ivory. It's beautiful. It's like a romper style. It has um, a tie around the waist, and then um, romper style like I said. What, baby? Cow wire. Huh? <laughs> and then this is the sleeves. I mean, it's just beautiful. I love this. This is my favorite cover-up I've ever owned, I think. My favorite part of the outfit is the earrings that I got to go with it. Do you see little hands reaching? These are Kendra Scott. And each tier of these little, um, whatever you would call this, little fluffy stuff, um, pops off. So you can have them full length or you can have them short. So at Nordstrom, I got my silver crossbody bag for the pink dress. And the reason I have to have a big bag is because I have to bring a hand pump with me. Because I've got to pump every three hours while we're in Vegas to maintain my milk supply because I'm still breastfeeding. So... This is the bag that I picked up at Nordstrom for the silver, dress, the pink and silver dress night. The designer is, it's not a designer, it's just Chelsea, it says Chelsea 28, I don't know. But it's cute though. It's got a silver chain and then it's got this silver, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this material would be, it's not leather, probably fake leather with like these little triangle stitching on it. For daytime and casual, um, like pool and daytime casual, I'm bringing my Kate Spade backpack because um, I need to bring the pump in this. And it, I am bringing a hand pump, but I, I felt like this would be best. Um, I thought it was really cute just for everything. And then at night, I'm going to be using, on the other two nights that I'm not using the silver one, I'm going to be using my Kate Spade that I've had for a few years now, or at least one year, maybe like a year and a half across across my body though at the club and i know that this is more of like a fancy thing that like you wouldn't necessarily want to bring to the club but i didn't want to go and buy another crossbody bag when i knew that this one would work and i know that it's it's big it is big and it's probably going to be annoying at night and for the club but like i said i have to have my hand pump i can't go without my hand pump um so that's just what I have to deal with since I'm still breastfeeding. And here is the other swimsuit that I got at Von Mar that didn't make the cut, um, but I'm still gonna keep it because I love this swimsuit. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna wear it in Vegas. Um, I couldn't find a cover up that would look cute, but then that black lace kimono would look cute if I need a third swimsuit look. But this is it. Um, the brand is, it's Kenneth Cole. And this is what it looks like. 
it's really flattering actually um i like it a lot i just didn't know that's it for this haul so i hope you guys enjoyed it and got some inspiration if you're going to vegas soon or just on any vacation soon i'm going to be using a lot of this stuff for our rotan honduras trip as well but don't forget to subscribe to me as well as all of the girls at the links below this video so that you can see our videos when the vlogs go live from vegas make sure your bell notification on is on for all of us we are so excited for this collaboration trip to Vegas and to meet each other. I've only met Krista. I have, oh, Krista and Liza. I haven't met any of the other girls. So this is a huge fun trip coming up and we're all so excited. I hope you guys are excited. I will see you guys a week from today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.